Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2. Um, today, not War of the Chosen, but a bit of a different video. I felt since some of you had pointed out a recent Reddit thread, which was uh, interesting, shall I say, I wanted to do a bit of a reaction video and also uh, give uh, an opportunity to actually talk about the topic at hand. So it came to my attention, thanks to it being pointed out, that there had been an interesting open question in the XCOM 2 Reddit um, asking whether or not I would be considered the strongest player in the world. And Clearly, I will not uh, talk about my personal perception um, of the issue. I will leave that completely up to others to judge. I am too humble to um, get involved in the matter. I nonetheless wanted to use it as an option to really talk about skill in XCOM 2 in general and give you some uh, perspective of the matter and how you could increase your quote unquote skill within the game and maybe some of the tips will be meaningful and helpful for you as well. So clearly I do understand that for many games that are competitive, there is such a thing as a skill that is easily measurable. If you do have a PVP scenario, it is quite clear or more or less clear who is incredibly good in uh, the game and who is maybe just above average. Now XCOM 2 is probably not a game that is really um, lending itself very well to that category for obvious reasons. The methods uh, that uh, uh, Phyrexis was trying to uh, employ, uh, deploy for com comparative um, challenges where you can have the daily challenges and essentially be graded uh, based on the challenges were pretty much going sidewards. Not many people are using it nowadays. And at, at least as far as I'm concerned, most of the quote unquote top ranking players there do have more than one account. Look at the challenge, look at the resolution of the challenge and then simply replay it in order to get onto the top ranks. So that's not really a good comparison um, of skill in general. So we got to accept that that is not necessarily observable, but it doesn't need uh, doesn't necessarily mean that it doesn't exist. And the reason why I'm convinced that um, competency or skill definitely exists in XCOM 2. And matter of fact, XCOM 2 may be being one of the games that has a very, very high skill ceiling is simply based on the fact that once you understand and know how to play it, you can, can continuously improve and there seems to be a little ceiling. You can always try another uh, nigh impossible challenge and still try to come ahead with enough practice. So I wanted to take three aspects uh, that may make you uh, a better player and shortly elaborate on them. Uh, specifically for XCOM 2. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about <clears throat> was the topic of knowledge. Probably everybody who ever started XCOM 2 will relate to the fact that once you start the game, you are in for a bad surprise. Oftentimes the enemies are overpowering you. And as the game progresses and you really learn the mechanics and the behavioral patterns of the enemies, it becomes easier and easier. That's the nature of a player versus environment game. So nothing really specific there. However, there is some more nu nuanced knowledge uh, that you might want to apply when becoming a better player. And a great way to get that nuanced knowledge uh, could be, for instance, to go through the XCOM 2 uh, wiki. One of the things that many people don't do enough, uh, reading and looking into uh, things, you will find a lot of the cooldowns that the enemy is using, a lot of the stats that are normally hidden in the INI files, and a lot of the behavior and tactical information that you might not have thought about. And in order to get from a good player to a great player, you really need to be absolutely certain about just how the physics of the game work, what the enemy can and cannot do, because it will give you a pretty solid understanding how far you can stretch the boundaries and what you can get away with and what you cannot get away with. One of the most prevalent mistakes that I'm seeing when I review footage of some of you guys is not really reading the situation uh, well enough, thinking that you're in the stronger position when in reality you are not, and thus making the wrong call. A lot of that is less so experience, but in many regards, understanding the game a bit better. And in order to take it 
when when you are knowledgeable from a great player to an outstanding player uh, one tip that i would give you, uh, everybody um, that's trying to to better themselves is really watch for those um for, for those creative utilizations that you might not have thought about i.e evacuating um, a soldier that is infected by chrysalin uh, poison i.e scouting with the vip i.e utilizing um, uh, high ground in a fashion that you maybe haven't utilized it before i.e uh, knowing which um, abilities end your turn and which did not so a lot of it at the very high level boils down to detailed and nuanced understanding of uh, what's happening. So that's kind of one um, large point that you can learn and adapt and improve yourself as a player without really um, being left to your own devices. However, there is a second component to it, which I would generally uh, put pretty much in the category of being self-aware or self-reflective and this here is a larger topic and has probably not much to do with XCOM um, in particular but uh, XCOM since it is a difficult task to uh, master is an excellent example of, of uh, techniques that you can apply in your life in general specifically having self-awareness having the ability to reflect and thus improve your skills and de develop your uh, yourself through proper reflection if if it is out of interest and if people want to hear more about that we can certainly um, create a video around that and i can go deeper into the matter um, because lots of those skills here will help you in your personal um, development in general but sticking to the topic of xcom2 more so xcom2 doesn't really give you a lot of information it's one of the biggest downfalls of the game the feedback loop to what has gone wrong is not necessarily well developed so you're often left with a failed mission and uh, it is incredibly easy after a failed mission to blame rng well that one shot didn't hit or well that that one um, situation was in, uh, incredibly unfair i think that the game is just treating me not correct and you are up for that spiral of kind of um, externalization of responsibility where something else is responsible for your shortcomings. In reality, what you need to do in those cases is really ask yourself what has happened um, and why are things not working? And oftentimes these questions are much more difficult to answer. They could even lie in decisions that you have taken far down the road. For instance, you have researched the wrong technology or you have uh, managed your resources badly, thus follow-up missions were more difficult, you found yourself outmatched and you haven't pulled the plug um, early enough. So things were spiraling out of control. Since it is very difficult to pinpoint um, a single yeah, source of failure, you need to be incredibly adept and train your skill in reflecting what hasn't uh, worked well. And this is nothing that will immediately work, but I can promise you over time, as you think and ask the right questions, you will get clarity and you can reflect based on it. Luckily, there are options like, for instance, asking a friend or even sending uh, the video in here to get a bit of a gameplay um, review and you can get some tips to help you with that um, self-development. But in a nutshell, XCOM 2 at the very high level requires you to always reflect. No one taught me how to do the exquisite timing. There was no guide for Legendary. No one has done it. And if you look into my failed first attempt and the reflection afterwards, that was based on self-awareness and uh, becoming uh, better. So I hope that that helps because that's really the whole portion about reflecting and thinking about uh, becoming a better player will get you to the next level once you have mastered uh, the basics. And then the, the last third element of skill in XCOM 2 is probably prudency and discipline in playing. You can know everything and you can also be as self-aware as, um, as humanly possible if you continue to make mistakes and don't have the discipline to very, very precisely play within the limits. If you're doing missteps regularly, if you, tr if you cannot cl play clean XCOM over a long period of time, 
then you will eventually get punished. It's not a question if, it is a question of when you will get punished. And those who look through the runs um, that I'm posting, I'm always very self-critical with the even the smallest mit mistakes that happen. And th the reason why I adopted that behavior is because it keeps you on your toe. Now, granted, specifically after a long working day, 12 or 14 hours, it's probably not the best um, time to be too hard on yourself because you're not in the peak performance. But nonetheless, that's not an excuse. You should still try to go and play the cleanest um, XCOM as possible. Of course, if you strive for self-improvement, if you just want to have fun, then by all means go and play rookie um, difficulty and install all of the mods that you want and you will, um, there's no judgment. That, that's absolutely fine as well. But this particular video here deals with uh, skill in XCOM and how to improve. So to kind of sum, uh, summarize the three aspects, knowledge, and that's probably the fundament that you need to have in order to uh, even become better, then self-awareness and re continuous reflection about what you can do bet uh, better and kind of also the appetite to do that because it takes a lot of energy and I fully acknowledge not everybody is always willing to put in the extra work to get kind of that little bit better. There are diminishing returns from some, uh, from some stage it, it just becomes very difficult to even become more clean in the way that uh, you, uh, that uh, you play or to become more self-aware or to have, to have even better strategies. And then the third portion is really execution to make sure that you're not ending up like this poor schmuck here um, who um, uh, pulled a massive uh, pot in uh, Long War II. Uh, it's an unfortunate uh, scenario. So in order to prevent that from happening, Sometimes it is just consequently following the easy rules like blue moves first with every single entity and even if it sometimes hurt uh, and you cannot get to an objective or you're just missing uh, something, always keep in mind what, what the most important um, objective in the moment is. Do you want to save your soldiers? Do you, do you need to uh, finish the mission and so on and so forth? So, a uh, long-winded uh, way, uh, we're already over 12 minutes and I want to keep it short and snappy. Long-winded way of saying this is my take on uh, just skill in XCOM uh, 2 in general and how to improve it. Whether or not um, you are of the opinion um, that a certain uh, YouTuber is good or not good is totally up to you. I will link uh, the thread down below if you want to leave uh, your opinion on anything. And if not, that's fine as well. Um, as always, uh, keep uh, a wonderful um, and a joyful XCOM 2 campaign going and we see each other in the next episode. Take care. Bye bye.